Hey, this has like hands down been one of the hardest film setups to do so far. Uh, so, as you've seen from the thumbnail, I got a hold of some Norma medium grain or medium game Bond Strike 6.5 Creedmoor, which is what that bad boy is. 143 grain. Extreme long range accuracy with unique bonded technology. And it's got a deer, a pig, some sort of a sheep, and elk on it. So this is <clears throat> extreme long range medium game uh, bullets. And I'm not, I don't even want to get this box wet, so I brought tripod. <clears throat> for the other camera seven water jugs because this is extreme long range um, it should expand quickly it's got a thin jacket I'll show you if I can get this one out yeah this is the bullet right there I don't know how well you can see that but um, 143 grain it's got a polymer tip for quick expansion is uh, what it claims it's uh, it says brass coat coated brass casing which this is shinier than pretty much any other crude more round that I've seen besides maybe the um, cellular and bellet that stuff was really shiny too um, but by what I would consider popular demand, we're bringing back the jug test, which I've always wanted to do the jug test. I love doing them. But there was a little bit of criticism in one of the last videos, and I appreciate it. That's what I want. That's what I ask for. Um, <clears throat> the, but a, a feller... A fellow YouTuber, Alaskan Ballistics, gave me some pointers. I really hope that's not my milk jugs dripping, it's just the ice melting. Anyway, to use more than one angle. So, um, I think you've seen this camera before, but I have never used it, the Handycam. Um, reason why I never use it is because the only card that I have for it films for like 20 minutes and then it's, it's full. Um, and it takes those weird kind of in between like a regular SD and a micro SD. It does not record very long at all. I think the one that's in the GoPro right now is like a 32 gig or something along those lines. But I did bring it because I can set it up and I actually this was so ghetto that I actually just took a piece of old particle board and made my own camera mount because I couldn't find the one that come with the camera so I made this and it sits in there snug it just doesn't look good but obviously this channel ain't about looks um <clears throat> one more thing well two more things one do me a favor um i've been talking with oh well, that's going to be awkward i've been talking with a fellow youtuber friend and um, I figured, why not? Let's try to help each other out. Um, so I want you to go in. I'll link him below. But you can also go down to um, type in. Oh, I got a camera. Type in Spider Monkey. 
2A. And check him out. Give him a subscribe. Hit the, you know, the, the, all that stuff. And I'm sure he would greatly appreciate it if some of my followers, some of my following went over, supported him. He does stuff like this where he shoots through plywood and tests uh, calibers. And I know, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the Creedmoor is pointed like right for your boy's back, but it ain't loaded. If it kills me, it was God's plan uh, because it ain't got no bullets in it right now. So go check him out. Um, give him some support. Us smaller channels, we, you know, we need to help each other out. Um, but also, I've mentioned it before and I've posted it down below before, but I am an ambassador for the um, NCCA, National Concealed Carry Association. I'll link that down below too. Um, it hasn't really gotten much attention, even though I have posted it on the, the channel. Um, so just do me a favor, check it out. I mean, worst you can do is not buy anything, but at least it lets them know that them bringing me onto their team is helping out a little bit. Um, I would appreciate it. They would appreciate it. And if you do find something you like, and I know it's after Christmas, Merry Christmas, by the way, well, post-Christmas, um, it, it helps me out if you spend over $40, I get a small commission, and it helps me do stuff like buy these bullets. Um, these bullets actually were a Christmas gift, um, and I also got eight pounds of Tannerite, so that's a future video but um, I'm starting up I'm, I'm getting a range day organized with a few of my buddies one of them's got two M1 Garands a car 98k and some other things and another buddy that has a dragon off so I guess if that comes through stay tuned for that I'm, I'm doing everything I can to get it to happen the only thing that I would almost say won't happen is the dragon off and that's just because the guy's a little farther away than the rest <laughs> but I'm still gonna try to make it happen for you guys uh, but yeah check out spider monkey 2a um, he does really cool stuff and stuff that kind of inspired me to do what I'm doing with these jugs and stuff and I just feel like that like I said smaller channels or just youtubers in general just kind of help each other out um, it's just I mean you give and you you give what you get so if you help out somebody will help you out and that's just a good way to be it makes you a good person but anyway, before I ramble on for forever, let's go ahead and get this test underway. Um, I'm going to put the handy cam on this table here, or at least the side of it. And where you guys are sitting, I'm going to put the jugs. I'm going to turn the table to where it's not pointing towards the road. Um, and then, I guess... After that, we'll go ahead and start the test. See you guys then. Okay. So, I've got camera set up. The angles right at the jugs. Kind of at a front. Tr I'm about to test these extreme long range out on some chicken or rooster. Freaking bedtime, dude. All right. Now, 
the one thing that I really hate is that rooster. One thing I really like is the packaging for these. I've heard people say they're kind of hard to get out of the box. But, I mean, if it wasn't so muddy, I could, like, you could drop these. I mean, they are not coming out. And that is awesome. Uh, so, like, for real, Hornady and, like, these other companies. And I know these are, like, $30 a box. But, the cheaper brands need to hop on board with this here idea. If you're not. The one that I think it's going to get caught in is this one. I've usually stopped Creedmoor in. I think it's the fourth or fifth jug. And this one's really smushy. So, I let it, I put it right here on purpose so that hopefully it just kind of either bounces and goes back into this one or it just barely pushes through and rests in this one. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've done a Creedmoor catch. I'm not sure if it's went through four or if I've caught it in four. But this being an extreme long range, I don't know what to expect. So, I'm going to go ahead and come back here. And this thing, it is recording. That camera screen looks pretty rough but that's supposed to be 1080 let's see where okay let me get a little closer there we go and I'm not going to be shooting towards anything living the roads 30 feet that way I'm going to turn you guys sideways, straighten you out a little bit, six zoom, we're at like, alright, I'm going to aim a little high, because you're supposed to, whenever you're really close, you shoot low anyway, plus this scope is zeroed for 129 grain, so... This is 143, a little heavier. It's going to drop even more. All right, 6.5 Creedmoor, Norma, Bond Strike. I hope we caught it. And this camera is wet. Okay. So we did hit kind of to the side. Oh, look at that. That was so lucky. <sighs> it did hit the squishy jug. Where'd the first? Oh, my Lord. Well, that'll do it. My gracious. 
So that's what's left of the first jug. Wow. That's pretty crazy. And can you, did y'all, you guys saw that, right? It was sitting right there up against the fifth jug. This jug lid is gone. It split the seam while blowing the lid off. I don't know where the lid went. I saw the hole on the side of the camper and thought it I it thought it voided out. So that did shoot pretty differently compared to the 129. Either that or my rifle's not sighted in very well. Which either could be an option, honestly. I didn't shoot, I shot the 129 at my steel targets down there at 100 yards and I hit it <coughs> sorry okay um so I was aiming like right there so this here bomb strike I mean it's honestly one of my smaller bullets that I've caught. It does not feel at all like a oh wait there's pedals and wait a minute okay so It just hit it so hard at this close range, it did the bullet just disintegrated. Um, I wanted to do this test at a hundred yards, but <laughs> I decided not to because of the grain difference I was kind of afraid that the bullet would I would miss and I don't want to shoot I, I don't want to shoot all of these just willy-nilly but it seemed like it lost actually probably close to 50% of its mass <laughs> maybe more I want to find and I'm just kind of thinking it's a lost cause unless it's sitting in one of these jugs that blue tip so I brought the jug test back it wasn't like it. I decided to take it down. I just pretty much ran out of bullets to test. I'm thinking about doing is bringing back the idea, which again, it never left either. If you guys want to see a specific bullet that you want me to shoot, whether it be in the jugs or what have you I have a PO box I can link it um, if you want to send me something some bullets uh, let me know comment below if you want to send me something not if you want to see it but if you want to send me some bullets comment below I'll give them, I'll run them through the water test. Um, they have to be either 6.5, 30 30. 
uh, 30-06, and then some shotguns. I have a 2012 and the 410. It got given to my nephew as a Christmas gift. So sincere and legitimate about it, and I don't want nothing because it's not just my PO box. So if you send something that's not okay I'm not going to be the only one that's using the P.O. box so just if you thought about anything of that sort just quit while you're ahead I don't want to see I don't want nothing like that I want it to be legitimate um, if you guys want to see it I'll shoot it so but also, we're not running multi-million dollar business up in these here woods, so you're, I mean, you might need to send me two or three bullets if you want to see a specific kind. But yeah, check out Spider Monkey 2A. Um, give him a subscribe if you're subscribed to me or if you watch my stuff and think that I'm think my stuff's decent then you'll probably like his stuff too so go ahead and check him out like I said I'll have him linked in the description